Hey guys, I'm just in Manchester hunting down Hot Wheels at the Entertainer in the Arndale Centre. Let's go, let's see what they've got. I'll see you in there guys. Well, it looks like they've got a ton of Hot Wheels here. Uh, three for two as usual in the Entertainer. Let's go through, let's see what we can find. There's a massive tub over there. Got a load of pegs here and the load on the top. Let's have a little look. Okay, so they've definitely got some 2024 stuff with the Braille Racer Twin Mill. Yeah, that's from uh, A-Case, isn't it? Very nice. I'm looking for the uh, Celebration Racer set. So, uh, I mean, I'm not gonna grab that one. I've seen that one a few times now. <laughs> the R3, isn't that from, yeah, 2023? Let's keep going. Another Twin Mill Braille Racer. El Segundo Coupe. Ooh, a really nice Lamborghini Cyan FKP37 in orange, which is really good. Look at the back there, you've got a load of detail. We can get some focus, there we go. Nice detail on the uh, license plate. I do like it in orange, and the 60th anniversary stamp's good, but got that one already, guys. Let's keep going. Rockin' Railer, which somebody said looked like the uh, mad fast treasure hunt on a, another hunt of mine. <laughs> I thought I missed uh, a treasure hunt, but no, it does look like it, but it's not it, is it? RSQ for rescue. <laughs> it's the uh, Chevy Tahoe, which is complete plastic. Plastic body, terrible. Don't really want to get that. I'm not a big fan of uh, Hot Wheels doing fully plastic castings. I think they should always do metal. Um, looks like a load of peg warmers on the top there. Ooh, the 87 Dodge D100. That's a good one from the uh, reverse rake set. I've seen that one. Let's keep going, guys. Oh, here's a brilliant one. The 84 Audi Sport Quattro. And it's from the 80s set and it's 2023, the 80s. So yeah, really good front end. Nothing on, no detail on the back there, but love this livery. The colors remind me of the German flag as well, you know, orange, red, black, very cool. Yeah, I like that one. One of my favorite ones. Oh, look, there's a second one here as well. <laughs> Let's keep going. Nice little Jeep Scrambler. That's sweet. Clip rod. More of the same. Ah, okay. So this is the uh, mustache, moustache. And I didn't know the last time I saw this, but that pulls out. See that big silver bar that's inlaid inside there? You can pull that out and it actually is a comb. What does it say on the back? Oh, let's drop it while we're at it. Yeah, on the back there it shows. You can use it as a mustache comb. Pretty funny, quite cool though. Oh, I've not seen this one yet. It's the West Coast Flyer. Is this a brand new casting for 2024? I think it is. It's like a squished down dynamic train, isn't it? Very, very cool. Don't really know what to say about that. <laughs> It's part of the uh, fast transit set. Not something that I'm looking for, but it is still, uh, it's got the stamp of Netflix and the Let's Race new show that's coming on. Netflix about Hot Wheels. Let's keep going through guys. Well, here's a good one. Jaguar I-Pace E Trophy. I do have this one, but uh, I love the decals. You see that really fine detail there? It says Jag Jaguar electrifies on the side as well. I think that's really cool. On the roof, spoiler, got Jaguar written on the, the spoiler. I like the blue color too, that's nice. Um, one of my least favorite uh, tuned castings of the year, and it's of last year even. It's the Fast and Furious Dodge Charger. It does look really cool, but it just doesn't have any detail at all on this. Like, they completely scrimped out on this one, didn't they, guys? OK, 
Okay, so we've gone through all the pegs there. Let's start going through this table, see what they've got. Let's see if we can spy anything just off, off the bat, guys. Anything good. Right, oh, here we go. <laughs> An 87 Ford Sierra Cosworth. Oh, that's a beauty. And I don't have this one, I don't think. In silver, not a big fan of silver myself. Uh, I might have said before, I'm not a big fan of Zamac either, where it's the complete rough model with no paint on. Um, but this car is one of my favorites. Nice old rally car, so. Yeah, I don't have this one in silver, I don't think. So I'll be grabbing that. I'll put that to one side. Hopefully no one nicks it off me. <laughs> Is there anything else on this table? Let's go through, guys. So we've got Batmobile, uh, Firebird, nice little Nomad there. Batmobile, another one. Okay, Cloak and Dagger. Another Audi Spark Quattro in black again. Let's keep going. Mustang SVO. Lots of the same case coming up. Oh, here's a here's a Zamac one, isn't it? You can see there it's not got any paint on this uh, twin mill. It's a Braille one as well. Just same as this, but literally no paint on it from Xperia Motors. Um, yeah, okay. So it just tells you on the back there that it's a Braille. Uh, from the experimenters because they've always got something on the back like a little plan oh a glory chaser golf livery looking pretty sweet but it is not the super treasure hunt you can get this as a super treasure hunt so I'll pop that back there let's keep going we've got a mitsubishi pajero evolution love this one definitely a super treasure hunt version of this coming out later in the year there's two there very nice let's keep going Here's a really good one. It's the Ultimate T-Rex Transporter. Now, for myself, no, I won't be getting this, but for my son, who's three years old and absolutely loves dinosaurs and Hot Wheels, 100% I'm getting this. <laughs> it's a smaller version of a Transporter, isn't it? Um, I'll pop that on the screen if, uh, if it is, but yeah, really cool. I'm sure my son will like it. I don't think them wheels in the middle move, but yeah, so it's just a it's a four wheeler, not a six wheeler. Very nice. Yeah, let's pop that over there. Oh, okay. Not seeing this one. It's a little bit battered, but uh, it's the Hot Wheeler, which is like a dog sort of uh, style car. As you drive it along, I think the mouth opens up and down and bites and everything. Does it show that? Yeah, you can see on the back there, it's uh, got the arrows showing you what it does. Pretty cool. From uh, the Megabyte set, which is, it should have the shark bite and stuff in there as well. Still, not really something I'm after, but oh. Ooh, this is nice. 2017 Audi RS6 Avant. Oh man, look at the front side there, guys. So much detail. What about the back? Oh man, yeah. <laughs> this is fantastic. Definitely gonna grab this one. Love that green as well. Is that British racing green? Am I mistaken? It's such a good looking casting. Love the fact that it's got all the details on. Not really a fan of the wheels. Maybe like black wheels would have been nicer, I don't know. But uh, part of the Hot Wheels wagon set from 2023. I'll take that. Let's pop that there. That's three for two. Let's keep going. Oh, look at that. It's the 82 Toyota Supra. But it is not the Super Treasure Hunt, unfortunately. Yeah, it's a really nice looking casting, isn't it? And I think that was new for last year. So yeah, I'm still looking for all the Super Treasure Hunts, guys. Um, I am interested in this one especially. I love the Toyota Supra from the 80s set. I'll pop that to one side as well. We'll keep going through. Right, well, we've done that whole table. Let's go inside these two boxes here and see what they've got. Oh, here's a really nice one from last year. It's the Pagani Zonda R uh, in gold wheels with blue metallic paint. 
very nice shape of a cast in this one, isn't it? Really cool. I've got a few of those Zondas. Let's keep going. See if we can find anything special in these boxes here, guys. Got my fingers crossed. <laughs> Custom 11 Camaro in that really cool blueprint style. That's nice from the art set, car set. A nice BMW i8 Roadster, seeing a lot of those. Uh, I like it in black more than silver, to be honest. Here's the mod rod from uh, the art cars set. You can see it's got the C on top of there. Let me know, guys, what the art cars spell out this time. I've not had anyone comment what they spell out. So, yeah, let me know. There's definitely a C in it. I know that much. <laughs> well, we've got a Solero GT. Croc rod. Sweet Driver, D100. Oh, the white Audi Sport Quattro to go along with those black ones that we've been finding. Really, really nice from the 80s set. That's cool. Really cool looking uh, Nissan Maxima Drift car. I have this in both variants, I think. I think there was only two variants of this last year, wasn't there? But yeah, cool. Love anything JDM, guys. Oh, there's another one of those for my son. <laughs> Let's keep going. Okay. Oh, the cool combi, 30th anniversary. Yeah, this is a great one. I've got it in yellow. Um, I never saw it in white, and I think there was a Zamac version of that out as well, was there? 71 Plymouth GTX, love that. Ah, oh, another Glory Chaser non-soup. That's okay though. Right, I think that's everything on this table and in those two boxes. What we'll do is we'll just take our cars around. And let's go through this big box now. See what we can find. <laughs> 69 Dodge Charger. 500. I've seen a lot of castings with uh, gold tires and uh, purple body. Was it another Dodge that I saw? Yeah. Um, well, anyway, this one's a really, really nice looking one. You've got two stripes on the top there. Big go faster stripe on the side. It says Dodge in gold. Got the Hot Wheels sign. Even got the indicators. Yeah, that's really cool. Here's a really nice looking casting. It's the 64 Lincoln Continental. Seen this a few times, but it's got a load of gold on the bottom of this. Gold plated on the front end. We've got it on the wheels too. And it goes well with that purple color, you know. Very nice low rider. Got a gasser. Sorry, I'll move those off there. You're all right. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. It's my fault. <laughs> Oh, this is a new casting for the year, isn't it? It's a drift and brake. I believe that this is a um, fantasy car, isn't it? Looks a bit like a wagon, a wagon race car. It's got those wheels that nearly 100, 99% of cars from last year started getting on them. Um, it's all right, I like it in purple, pretty cool. Come on, fingers crossed we get something cool, guys. Gotta believe, guys. Oh, the golden Batmobile from the animated series, which is pretty cool. Let's just keep throwing things over there. Ah, uh, we've hit the bottom. <laughs> we have hit the bottom. I'll do a little more digging, guys, and then I'll let you know what we find. Right, guys, well, we've gone through everything here. Let's go and have a see if there's anything else. Oh, I can see some pegs here as well. A load of different Hot Wheels. 
Right, let's go through these pegs, guys. Nice. <laughs> we'll just pop these three down in a nice little uh, stash spot while we continue to search through. Uh, yep, three for two still on everything. <laughs> two pound four each though, guys. That is expensive. We've got a Chevy Silverado, little tuned Chevy. Really nice Loopster, which is like a roller coaster cart. Um, oh, they connect together. You see, Xperra Motors have always got something, haven't they, up the sleeve? They connect together from the, the front and back, so you can make a, a big long roller coaster uh, carriage, I guess. Maybe we'll have to try that. <laughs> Oh, look at this. It's the Honda Civic Custom. I don't have this one. This is a 2023 drag strip. Um, it does have two different types of uh, wheels on this. One, one red and one black. Is the back one smaller for the drag racing, is it? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. No detail on the back. Nice blue lights on the front. That's, that's nice, plastic blue. And you've got the uh, Honda logo as well. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I like this one. I'll, I'll definitely take that. We're going to have to find three more, well, two more to go with that. So then we can buy for the deal, three for two. Okay, let's keep going. How does Hot Wheels ever fit that name on the cards? Look at the size of the font on the. <laughs> well, I think it's the same size as every font, isn't it? But flipping heck. Matt and Debbie Hayes, 1988 Pro Street Thunderbird. That is a hell of a lot to say, isn't it? Big mouthful. But yeah, cool casting. Got that one. I think this is from 2024 B case. It's got like the uh, colors of the German flag on the side there. Got a wheel in the back. Pretty nice. Jeep written on the front. Very nice detail on the headlights too. I like this color a lot more than the blue version of this. I think this looks more like what it should do. <laughs> the other one looks a little bit more like a toy. This looks like a good casting, good model. Yeah, looks really nice. This one. I may take it, I may not. It's, it is damaged on the card, so I'll just show you it is damaged on the card, so um, yeah, might not take that. It's not something on my list as well. Definitely check my list, guys, for um, what castings I'm actually after. Mustache. Another one of those. Oh, here we go, guys. This is the 2024 Chinese New Year Night Dragon. Look at that thing. <laughs> You've got a golden race driver there with the golden engine, it would seem. Big turbo, maybe. Loads of exhaust coming out of it anyway. Uh, nice gold wheels. Let's have a see. Has it got a dragon face on it? Uh, not as good as the card dragon, but I definitely wanted to collect this um, as it's got the 2024 stamp and the dragon up there for Year of the Dragon, Chinese New Year. So that's awesome. Celebration races. Love that set. Right, let's pop it with the rest of them. 
And let's keep going, guys. I really like the livery on this new uh, Chevy Bella Gasser. It's great, isn't it? It, it kind of matches uh, my name, <laughs> the wheel collector. It's got nice big Hot Wheels on the top there, on the roof. Blowing out engine. Cool wheels. Not really much else in the detail side of things, but yeah, I, I love that livery. I love the fact that it says the collector on the side. I don't know what that symbol is with the uh, crown guys probably part of whatever the collector is. I don't really know what that is, but uh, yeah, very nice. Cool livery, cool casting. Right, last peg guys, and I think we might have found the best of the best out of all of this. <laughs> there was a hell of a lot to go through, uh, but yeah, I think we definitely picked the best things. Last one, what is it? It's a dragon wagon. <laughs> right guys, and look, one above, one below. <laughs> right guys, let me pop this back on the peg, and let's go and have a look at what we actually got. I will see if there's anything more around though first. Let's just grab our stash. I had to get a massive, huge basket, guys, for my Hot Wheels because they don't have any, anything else. <laughs> but actually, going from here, yes, they do have more on the pegs over here. We'll definitely go through them when uh, this guy's done. Right guys, we've got the pegs to ourselves. Oh my God, there's so many on these pegs though. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to go through them all before being interrupted. So let's give it a go, see what we can see. Holy moly, there's a lot of the same stuff. Maybe I will skip forward guys and just show you any good finds I get off these pegs. Um, I don't usually do that, but I think with how much there is up on here right now, I'm going to have to just search through. I've not actually seen these two packs before. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool, isn't it? They've not, they've not even got anything written on them, just like a code. Have you guys seen these? They've never been in any other shop that I've been in. I think that might be a Corvette on the bottom and a Ford Raptor on the top. Uh, pretty cool. How much are they? £4.60? I mean, £4.64 for two of them you just like getting two for that price and you're not getting the two for three which is very strange but okay let's have a little look at these uh see if we can figure out some of them is that uh aston martin on top we've got a ford on the bottom there which is pretty cool what ford is it ford gt race it says underneath and yeah it's an aston martin so that's pretty cool but yeah just the code on it, again, doesn't tell you exactly what's in them. Strange. I've actually become a big fan of the uh, Datsun stuff and the Kaido House stuff. So, 
Yeah, I might actually take this two pack. It's just a shame that it's not part of, you know, the two for three offer. It's got Datsun written on the back there. Nice little like tan color. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. And the speed tail as well, that's nice. Yeah, I might take this. Oh, they've actually got the Dragon from the 2024 celebration set at the bottom there, that's cool. Don't have a clue what the hell that is, <laughs> but okay. Let's keep going. Yeah, it's a lot of the same. We've got the Aston Martin V12 speeder from the new Car Culture premium set. Very nice, cool style. Yep, cool set. What's actually in this set? We've got a BMW M1, McLaren F1, Porsche 911, and Lamborghini Reventon Roadster. Damn, this is like <laughs> this is like the worst car to have found out. A lot of them, I guess it's just been rinsed, hasn't it? But at nine pound, I ain't buying the uh, Aston Martin. So I've just been through all the pegs here, and it's pretty much the same as what we've already found, except for the two car sets. So let's go see what we got, guys. We found some killer castings today. Really happy with these. Hope you enjoyed it too. If you did, please do like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one, guys.